Lightroom and Photoshop had a really big update. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so here am I at my desktop. And the first thing that you need to do, guys, is get straight into the Creative Cloud desktop. And what you do is you open that up just to make sure that you're on the latest version. If you want to check that, and if you want to find out if you do have any updates, what you can do is go to apps. Once you go to apps, you can do view updates. And these are all the updates that I've done so far. The ones that you need to focus on that I'm going to be focused on today is Photoshop and Lightroom Classic. And you need to be on 26.8 for the Photoshop and for Lightroom Classic is the 14.4. All right, so let's just minimize that for now. And now let's go into Lightroom. I have an image here, guys, with the reflection. All you need to do is simply come over here to the Remove tool. And once you come to the Remove tool, you notice that now you have this option here where you have reflections. And all you need to do, guys, you're gonna click on the Apply button. And once you click on the Apply button, you can see that it actually removed the reflection totally. And if you need to go back to the original, you can use the slider here and just move it to your left until it gets to zero. Once you are at zero now, guys, you know, notice that that's where we originally were. Now, if you need to go beyond zero now, you're going to see what is behind or rather what was the main reflection that was in the mirror, whether it's a building, a bicycle, or people, whatever it is, guys. And if you go here and I drag it all the way back, you're going to see what this is. And this is just the street right there. All right, so that is one option. I'm going to get into the next one now. All right, guys, so here we are at the next image. And what I want to do now, guys, is to introduce the noise reduction. So I'm going to zoom into the image. I'm at about 800%. And as you can see here, there's pretty much a lot of noise in this actual image. And what we do now, as you can see here, all I'm going to do here, I'm going to come over to, I think, details, right? If you go to detail, you want to see that you have the noise. All right, before, when you did the noise, what it did was it created an extra file, which I never particularly like. So what now, what is happening now is it is embedded in the actual raw file now so you don't have to you know have a separate file and, and so forth and so on so all you need to do now guys is you just click on denoise and as you click on denoise you're going to see how clean this image actually is and if I look at the before let's go back to the before after you can see the detail and actually did a slight sharpening in the hair follicles right there. If I go to this side here, that's gonna show you how it looks like and you can see how the noise has been removed from the image. And like before, you do have a slider and it can actually bring back some noise into the image slowly to where you might like it to be. So that is the noise removal feature right there. So let's get to the other image now. All right, so over here, I want to show you the remove tool. So what I need to do now is I need to carry this photo inside of Photoshop. So I'm just gonna open it inside of Photoshop. So we have this actual image here now, and now you have a select option right here. But before you actually do that, guys, to get the best performance from the remove, what you need to do is come up here, come to settings, and then go to uh, image processing. And once you come to image processing, you need to have this check cloud detail results, all right? Don't have it on device. If you do it on device, the quality is not going to be as good. All right, just keep that in mind. Once you select that, you just restart Photoshop and do it again. All right, so since I have it active, I don't need to um, restart my Photoshop. So now what we need to do now is I can actually, let's say, let me duplicate this layer. And now if I come here, I'm just gonna say select subject. I'm just gonna drag it over here to this uh, background here. And as you can see how well the quality of the removal was. You can see the hair follicles here and stuff like that. So man, this is actually very, 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 very clean. And you can literally just put it wherever in the scene that you like and boom, there you have it. You know, let's just try another image. So let's go back to Lightroom and let's try, let's see this one here. I'm just gonna go to Photoshop Let's come over here and let's do the same thing again. Select subject. Once that's selected, you can just come all the way over here 
and boom, you can add it to the scene, just like that. And it's pretty, pretty done a really, really good job, guys. Like, it's so, so, so good. So let me know in the description below, guys, if you guys, you know, this is something that you actually use for your work or whatever. And let me know how well it worked for your images in your photos. All right, guys, so that has been the three features that I particularly enjoy, which was the noise reduction, which was the reflection, and also the remove inside um, Photoshop, the remove, select subject. Uh, option. All right, guys. If you guys like like this video, guys, smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe for more and check out this video over here that I think you might like. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh.